this is a new US sitcom with common set instead of a, a commas, if you like, speech marks. Uh, this is loosely based on star Pamela Adlon's real life. She plays Sam here. Loosely based on her life, she's an actress and she's a working mum raising her three daughters of varying age. Uh, she, she lives next door to her mother, played by Celia Imrie, because uh, mother in real life is is uh, is British, and that's basically it. It's about a, a working mother raising three. Who's a jobbing daughters. actress, I suppose. Who's a isn't jobbing it? actress? She's sort of in the show and in real life has been working as an actress, sort of from a young age, and just does bit parts in things. It's raved about in the US by critics, not necessarily massively watched. It's on FX which is why we're getting it here as part of the FX and BBC yeah. Two collaboration. It's been two years since I've seen these first two episodes, and actually I found them funnier than I remember finding them originally when I watched them again for the sake of the podcast. I, I find the world really authentic because it is based on a life. It's not a sitcom in the same way, something like The Big Bang Theory, Modern Family yeah. are really, really enjoyable and really got something to say about itself i think this, this would be my kind of comedy i'm i'm not really a sitcom person i mean other than a select few the genre doesn't often do a lot for me i prefer these like cable type comedies where it's not necessarily laugh out loud scenarios but more of an exaggerated drama scenario i thought the characters were brilliant there's heart which i think is a big thing that a lot of comedies don't have i really liked Celia emery's character i thought pamela adlon was just wonderful I'm not going to watch it weekly. I'm. I really want to sit down and watch this all in one go. I really like that. I mean, for me, the the main criticism would be that it's far too short. I mean, they're only yeah. twenty minutes, and I think BBC have really missed a trick by not doing two. And I'm not quite sure yeah. why they're not doing two because that's what they did with um, Atlanta, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, this um, this would ideally suit having two in a row. Um, maybe because. They want to do just one a week of the 10 because they, I mean, there is a second season as well that's already had. The third one is out in February, I believe, yeah. in the second States. second season has some amazing moving things that, yeah. I mean, it's been up for Emmys and it's, I don't know how whether it's won any, but uh, it's, it's uh, a critical yeah. darling. I mean, you could make a lot of, compa- or some comparisons between this and cleaning up because, you know, you've got yeah. these daughters and in this they felt a lot more real. They were defined characters from the first episode, you know, you've got this sort of the stroppy teenager who's, you know, often smoking cannabis. You've got this Who sort she of... Want, the, which she wants her mum to buy for yeah. her. And she's like, Hide <laughs> yeah. things from me, please. Can I ask you something? No. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. You'll just freak out. Okay, you don't have to, but now you know you're going to. Could you get pot for me? What? Gabby Schuster's mom told her if she ever wanted to smoke pot, she'd get it for her. Like, don't you want me to have clean, organic pot? You should want me to have good nugs. Good nugs? (laughs) I don't even know what to say. That's amazing. I don't know how to get pot. I don't even know where to get... Gabby Schuster's mom said that to you? Okay, that's great. I can't even get grand pot for her arthritis. How about this? No, no, Max. I'm not going to get you pot. It's so easy, Sorry. Mom. You oh. get a prescription. You just have to be oh. 18. Max, honey, can we just go back to the regular hard things like school supplies? You should be happy I'm honest with you. I could just get it and not tell you. Oh, yeah. Well, that might be a little better. Seriously? Yeah, these things are normal, but you should be ashamed of them. Why? You're, bit. you're my mom. I want you to know if I have sex or if I want to get high. Ah, no, hide things from me, please. It is really warm, uh, really funny, laugh out loud moments. Yeah, just just really enjoyed it. Um, and I, I like Stephen, would say I, I would like to binge it, but BBC yeah. are being stingy with it, and I don't <laughs> think they're... They're not even sort of putting it on the iPlayer for people who do want to watch them all right now, like they have done with, with other FX. I think they did that with Trust, didn't they? So, yeah, so better things uh, Thursday night. Um, yeah, at 10 o'clock. Yeah. It seems a bit weird. It's just sort of, like, as you say, it's there on its own. I've not seen an ad for it, and I've been watching the BBC. No, I had no idea it was... Seen, so, well, like, yeah. 
I knew it was coming because we talked about it, didn't we, when we were talking about the FX news and things like that. That's what, when we're going to be getting Pose and the and the what we do in the Shadows TV series and things like that. But, you know, you get into this world straight away. And I think even though, you know, you've got this character who is a jobbing actress, I think it's universal, the themes of like this sort of single parent trying to raise these three daughters. It, is a, it feels like a relatable show, even though the characters might seem a little bit outlandish at times. And, and Celia Imri as well is sort of She's a revelation. really good. Yeah. P- pulling back the curtain, as we like to do on the podcast occasionally, we have access to watch it all. Are you going to take advantage of yes. that, both of you? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Definitely. Brilliant. Better Things, Thursdays at 10, one of my favourite shows from the US, and I'm so glad that you both enjoyed it. Uh, it's on BBC Two. Check it out now, and it uh, it is something quite special.